um, the kind of the basic sewn in um, applique techniques to a ribbon blossom which is a separate piece that you sew on rather than sewing in so you need to start with a piece of ribbon um, and mark on it uh, well it's going to come out every inch or so along one edge here so I'm using pin because it's hopefully more visible for you um, but obviously you'd use um, a soluble marker or something like that instead so um, a blossom traditionally has about has five petals you can go up to about seven but it would have quite a large gap in the middle so you'd need to add something in the middle as well so take some thread um, this works better with um, a rayon or a silk thread because it's it's smoother and it's likely to catch in ribbon and you start oh yes no you start from one of your marks and just make a loop and tie it off like that and then you need to make a kind of a U shape or a W shape just a running stitch down and then across again so you're making this kind of stitch pattern all the way down for each of your marked petals I said you can do more than five but you would need to do something for the middle as well got to the end completed my stitching so now I'm going to pull gently and you can see each petal is oops gathering itself into place and as I said with the five petal it, it kind of does it on its own you just bring your ends together and tuck the raw ends under and just run a stitch through just to lock them into place It just takes a little bit of finessing just to tidy it up slightly so it all sits quite neatly into a five petaled blossom. Now I'm just going to trim off my excess here. If you're in any way concerned about that then trim it off and then dab on a little bit of um, fabric glue or something just to stabilise the end and then you just want to attach it to your work. So I find it easy to stitch it through stick my thumb over the top and then press it up so it bulges and then stitch through a couple of times just to secure it into place this isn't going to be structural in any way it doesn't need to be absolutely solid so just a couple of stitches and then tie it off like that so that is a ribbon a gathered ribbon blossom now these use pretty much the same sort of technique and this is an ideal way of using up scraps of fabric. So start with a piece of fabric, a piece of ribbon even. Um, fold it in half and then fold it down again to make the size of leaf that you're going for. And just stitch through at the bottom. and then do a running stitch just to hold the layers in place just like that and then pull on that stitch to gather it in and spin around a couple of times to hold it and then stitch through like that end up with kind of half of a bow tie kind of shape and then trim off your excess and then you want to attach that to your piece so stitch through Oop. and come back 
out and stitch around. I'm gonna go that way. I find it easy to kind of hold it into place as you stitch so that way it doesn't spin around on itself. So a couple of stitches through just to hold the base and then pull the two loops of ribbon apart. And I find this looks better if you just put a very small stitch through the base here just to hold those open like that. So that's a gathered leaf. Um, obviously you've got a nice raw edge here so whatever you use this for you're going to need to cover that at some point as you go along. So that's a gathered blossom and a gathered leaf.